Thanks, Steve. Uh, and thank you to all the councillors and everyone from Barky for actually putting this event on. It's a great initiative and um, I think it, it augurs well for the future. And um, tourism is a really powerful subject. So for those who don't know me and who don't know what OQTA stands for or, or Outback Queensland Tourism Association, uh, we're the peak tourism body for the area. We're, our charter really is to bring more people to, to the outback of Queensland, get them to stay longer, get them to spend more money, get them to come in the, in the off-season. So that's pretty much our charter. It's pretty simple. Bring more people, get them to spend more money and spend them in your businesses too. So, And really, everyone's in tourism. So um, uh, whether you're the candlestick maker or the baker or the, or the panel beater, you know, I'm sure the panel beaters do pretty well out of the, out of the ruse when the, uh, the uh, tourist, tourists are in, uh, in region. But um, look, everyone's in tourism. It touches everyone. And um, I've got a long history in tourism and I was on the Sunshine Coast for many, many years. And um, we tried to introduce a tourism levy through council and uh, we got a lot of pushback from businesses who said, we're not in tourism, but, you know, everyone's in tourism. And it was... We, we asked the local uh, mechanic, you know, how many uh, how many um, uh, batteries did he sell during the tourist season? And he said 400. And how many did you sell outside the season? It was about 40. And we said, well, do you think you're in tourism or, or don't you? So tourism's a very powerful industry. It's growing in the outback. Um, and I'll... Sorry. Very much. So do I point it there? I might have to do one now. Yeah, so we're one of 13 uh, what we call regional tourist organisations in Queensland. Um, we're partly funded by the state and part, and part funded by all the LGAs, including Barkey, and lots of uh, independent operators as well who are members. Here's some really good numbers. The tourism in the outback has been growing substantially and exponentially over the last four to five years. It had a couple of dips, but it's been incredibly strong. Um, and the, the tourist numbers are made up predominantly of the drive market, as we all know, it's predominantly drive market. Um, we're starting to get more people flying in, a lot more people who are coming for shorter visits. The grey nomad market continues to be strong um, and it will do into the future. Um, mum and dad who buy a caravan, they leave Sydney or Melbourne and they, they go away for three weeks or three months or three years and their destination is, is back to home again. So that market's still very strong and will continue to, to, to grow at, at a lower rate. But the big growth market is the family market in the camper trailer market. Mum and dad with two kids uh, and the mum and dad have bought a shiny new camper trailer from China for twenty thousand dollars, and it's all very shiny. And they come out, and they make towns a destination. They don't come away for as long. They might only come away for for four or five or six days. And um, Dad doesn't actually like putting that camper trailer together. He doesn't like pulling it down. So he'll only put it together when he gets to their their end their end destination. In the meantime, they stay overnight in a motel. They usually eat out every night. They go to all the attractions and they spend well. So they're a great market. But we're growing, the outback's been growing strongly and it's, it's quite difficult to get the, the exact figure. These figures come from Tourism Research Australia, um, but they're, they're based on a whole range of different things. And you'll see that one of our charters is to actually get much, much better data. We do a lot of marketing, but we also want to move away from marketing as much and do a lot more product development and get product ready. To, to help business get um, trade ready, to get them help help them to get ready to take on business, to have them um, bookable online, all those sort of things. But we, our experiences are the, the main experiences that we target or that we look for are, are people who are on the road. Um, events events are powerful in the outback, from Big Red Bash to the Tree of Knowledge event to to Winton's Way at Westfest, all of those things, Mount Isa Rodeo, they actually drive visitation, they drive spend, it gives people a reason to travel, it gives them a time frame to travel on to. So events are incredibly powerful. Australian culture, which is why people come here in the first place, they're looking for an authentic 
Australian experience. So we've got it here in droves. You know, we don't need to be anything than what we already are. You know, we can build the product up and we can be better at what we do, but really it's, it's that authentic Australian experience is the main reason those numbers that on the previous slide have been so strong. The wilderness as well, you know, open spaces, um, you know, gorges, rivers, um, the desert. People love all that. You know, you, the, amazing the amount of people who actually travel over the desert these days and don't just do it once, but they do it multiple times. And um, I'm sure their cars are feeling the, the effect of that, though. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a really big thing. We have an education subsidy program where we love to bring kids out to the bush um, and we subsidise them to come out and um, we bring them from all over, all over Queensland to come out. Uh, we work with trade and trade is the travel trade industry and Steve knows that very, very well. Um, so when you go to a Hello World or a, or a flight centre and you want to book a holiday, that's what we call the travel trade industry. And when, when you say I want to go to, um, to Berlin or something and all of a sudden there's an itinerary in front of you within three minutes, it all seems quite seamless and quite easy, but it's actually a really complicated process that sits behind that. So we've been working with Trade for quite a while. Uh, product development and for Mills, all those things like bringing media out here, bringing trade industry partners out here so they can talk about the outback and bring more people here. But research, which I mentioned before, is a really big thing. And we're, it's, if, we, if we don't know exactly how many people are coming here and who they are and how much they're spending, it's really hard to manage and it's really hard for us to then target them. So we've been working really closely with um, the RAPID group and so your council's part of the, the RAPID group which um, have been undertaking some research and we've also been working with the local government association of Queensland and next year we're doing a pilot project um, to get much, much better data about who travels to the outback, how long are they staying here for, where are they going to, what are the trigger points, what's caused them to come here, how much money are they spending, and what do they like? What do they take away from the outback? You know, is what experiences are they taking away? So we will get that data um, and we'll overlay it with what Rapid are doing and we'll get a much better data set about who's coming here and we'll be able to plan better for the future and your businesses will be able to get all that data and you'll be able to plan better for what's happening in tourist season as well. Um, and that data will also use MasterCard and Visa data where you'll be able to find out, we'll, we'll be able to find out what their spend is and it's really important that we find out what spend they're, they're having and how do we make that bigger and better and, um, and so that people can invest more in their businesses. So one of the things I just wanted to touch on, which we've been doing, it's been highly successful, is artificial intelligence. It sounds like something out of Star Wars or spooky stuff, and it's actually not. And um, we've, you know, everyone knows in this room that that um, social media and digital marketing is is really where everything's going these days. You know, you can book anywhere in the world off your phone. You can book it off your computer. You you research more on computers and mobile phones. The traditional type of um, booking a holiday. I was only thinking about when we were kids and we used to go to the Gold Coast all the time. How did my mum and dad even know where we were going to stay? But then I remember that mum was always, because we came from Sydney, mum was always flicking through RACQ, uh, NRMA magazines, looking to see where the, where the holidays were. So, But these days it's all online. So we use artificial intelligence. We've, we've, been, we've done a couple of pilot projects this year incredibly successful, incredibly successful, and we'll be using that. It's not expensive, it's, um, it's no dearer than any other form of marketing, so it's, uh, it's been really good. We've done a couple of pilot projects with Mount Isa Rodeo, with Birdsville Races, and with a, a recent summer campaign that we ran, so it's been terrific, and it's, it's, it's very effective marketing. And of course, I touched on this before about product development. We'll be in, in market. Our, our future is not just about marketing, but it's about helping businesses, you know, become marketable for, for the tourists coming there. You know, what do you need to put in front of that person sitting in Sydney or Melbourne? You know, what do you need to do? So um, that's, we'll be doing a lot of that in the future. And that's pretty much it from me, but what I'd just like to reiterate is that no matter what you do, no matter what happens in your life, is tourism's touching everyone these days. It's a, it, it injects a lot of money into local communities. It's been a really sustainable business. It's got a lot of growth. Tourism worldwide is growing at about 13.9% as countries become more sophisticated, more mature. Um, you'll spend more money on, on health. No, health will be the number one thing you spend your money on. 
as people become wealthier or richer in their lives. Number two will be travel and entertainment. You will continue to see um, more travel, more, more people traveling all over the world and particularly to the outback. We have a very good product to sell. You have a great town here and you've got really good products in all of your communities, in all of your five towns. I'll be very proud of them. And tourism is a, is a product and an industry that makes you actually proud of your town. You know, you're very proud to say to a tourist, you know, have you tried that water, you know, that water hole? Have you tried, you know, that place to take a great sunset shot? Have you tried that particular restaurant or have you had a, a meal in that particular pub? You become very proud of your town when, when tourists or visitors are in your town. So you have a great town here and um, I'm available if anyone wants any more information about tourism. But thank you very much for inviting me and I hope you uh, enjoy the today. Thank you.